Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today, I'll be reviewing, come on, all the torque. <laughs> the ride of the King Song S22 Pro. What a beast. So, let me tell you more about it. <laughs> but there's more, come on, woo, woohoo. <laughs> oh man, woo. This thing, <laughs> roll the intro. Wrong way. And first up, of course, huge thanks, woohoo, to my e-wheel for providing me this wheel for testing purposes. And if you want to get a wheel like this in Europe, feel free to use my coupon code wrong way to get a additional 5% off. And I also do receive kickbacks from those orders. So you also do support the channel by using those links and actually, I wanted to update you guys on the, this cooperation here because I will be working now exclusively with uh, my e-wheel for the European market. And as this cooperation has been very fruitful and very good for the last years, it does make sense. Does this car make sense though? It does, nice. <laughs> and I'm actually sponsored by my e-wheel right now, which is uh, awesome as now I have just more funds to do nice stuff on electric wheels and yeah it's just great <laughs> i love it so yeah that's uh, that's that will they stop will they stop they did stop will this guy stop yeah, he did stop. Responsible riding, right there. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see by my emotions, I'm very, very pleased with the King Song S22 Pro. And uh, maybe before we start talking about it a bit more, you can notice that uh, there's some stuff that is not King Song S22 Pro. We got the Nalanov uh, 2.0 kinetic pads. Absolutely love them. They're perfect for his wheel. And uh, I also do have the fairing plates on the side because otherwise there's no space for pads on this wheel. I also have the Nylonov um, pads with an adjustable angle. So this wheel is not stock anymore. With a stock experience, you can check out my original review maybe of the S22, like how those stock, how this stock setup were fa uh, fares. But uh, yeah, here it's just different and I've optimized it to my liking it's a bummer you have to do that. Usually before you had to just do it with Pigode wheels, but now apparently with King Song 2, S22, 2. <laughs> so now I will just talk a bit through with the ride and we'll get to off-roading in a second because this thing, this thing makes you fly. This thing is, just makes things possible on the wheel that you didn't think that were possible before. And the biggest also difference, not only being the suspension, but also, the amount of torque uh, because of the new motor with more torque. I, I think this, it has wider magnets, definitely more torque. And with those two things, with the new sliders and with the wider motor, <laughs> this thing just launches. This thing became just so much fun because the original S22, I felt like, can we do a pedal grab here? Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> The original S22, I had problems with because it was just so not eager to ride. And this is. <laughs> I 
So of course the weight distribution did not change. And this thing is still very tail heavy. And it's not as torquey as a veteran Sherman Max. In fact, if I would really like kick it here, I would get a pedal dip. But the low end torque improved so much that it's absolutely enough, in my opinion, for most trail slash off-road riding. I have it also now set up at a pedal angle of zero because I don't feel like I need needs to lean forward so much anymore because of the bigger torque. It's just a, so much more lively, so much more willing to ride. And just changing direction, braking hard, and going into backwards mode, and then accelerating again. Like, this is a lot of lean. <laughs> like, I, I can lean a lot on this wheel. Not as much as on the Sherman X once again, or Sherman S, but still a fair amount. And especially in the speed between like zero and 50, which is, I think, the perfect speed for EUCs, maybe even just 40. This thing just rips. Now this thing has been taken through hell and back. Like this thing has seen abuse. This wheel needs to go to therapy actually. What I've done to it is uh, quite traumatic to say the least. Like I think this is the wheel I abused the most ever. And it doesn't even have like 400 kilometers on the clock. We did crazy jumps, we did, we did stair gaps, we did uh, you know stair inclines, we did drops, like there's just so much pain this wheel has come through and it shows also a bit like the suspension starts to make a bit of noises uh, I bent the rim because I didn't have enough pressure and I just launched off a stair set and I made I think two gaps there <laughs> so I will open this wheel up and stay subscribed for the full review I mean stay subscribed for the teardown because then we will see what's left of everything that is inside the Kingston S22 Pro because now with the new roller design, there might be some wear and tear, believe it or not. I feel like um, the suspension, now that it works, has become a lot softer. So for casual strolls and like usual rides here, I don't know, on the grass, like it filters out the bumps really well. I feel like for bigger jumps though, it became even a bit too soft for my liking. So maybe I'll just switch a bunch of stuff during the teardown, including the spring to make it a 1500 pound spring. And I think honestly, how um, Leaper Kim now allows users to use different sets of shocks in their wheels, I think it would be, it's almost like a no brainer decision that King Song would allow users to just use a 1500 pound spring instead of a 750 that we have stock or even a heavier spring because this for me as a 80 kilogram rider for the stuff I do is a bit too soft and I have it already in the highest geometry the most like designed for stunts with the highest pedal clearance and sometimes when I go on trails it's still a bit meh, not that much oh, let me just pick that up throw it away so it still has the same off-road tire which I didn't like that much on the initial S22. I'm kind of getting used to it, but as you can see on the turns, like it, yeah, the, the, the pedals come really close to, uh, to the ground here. And I don't get that much response in, in those turns. I, I think a different tire would maybe work better, but for off-road use, it's like good enough, I guess. Uh, I've just gotten used to the way that I need to almost put my weight on the outside leg when I do sharp cornering and when you try to really make a tight corner oh, you can but it's a bit of a struggle you need to lean a lot and with the width of this wheel which is a new thing that I discovered recently narrow wheels a lot nicer to ride I think it's like not that easy to bend it That's
especially if you're seated, some people just like almost crash. I saw a video on electricunicycle.org. Because the wheel tilts, it doesn't have just this motion of uh, staying upright. So tire is like, I'm getting used to it, it's fine. But uh, I think there is some uh, room for improvement here. Can we go up here? Let's do it. Ooh. Boom. Oh no, look at that off-road. What can I do? Oh, I just ride through it because I'm on an S22 Pro. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. Look. <laughs> this is literally like, wow. <laughs> and the torque is still there. Okay, let's, uh, let's jump down here. If you're seated and you get a big wind gust, you can just like tilt to the side and not be able to recover. It's possible to ride seated on this wheel, uh, but uh, it's, it's an advanced thing to do. Like, I wouldn't recommend you to try this right away because, as said, with the tilting of the wheel, it might be just a bit weird and then you catch some side wind, a side gust, and just because of the tire, you might not be able to recover. It's really difficult at times to do that. Right, we're going now through the bridge. I will cut it short a bit and I will probably get back to you once we're in a more off-roady location. All right, but before we get to the off-road section, quick word about suspension. And as you can see, it's just, uh, it's magical really. Now that you are able to feel the geometry, which is like progressive, it's like I'm talking very normally here. I could just raise my voice. Ah, and it's just a little bit of, uh, you know, vibrations while just riding here on wheels is absolutely terrible. And I love the fact that it's really, you know, progressive. The harder you kick it, the more it, uh, it stays hard, which is uh, good. I did notice though that at times where we have the compression, I mean, the rebound set to very low, it starts to sort of bounce a little bit, especially if the tire is not like perfectly aligned. So I um, adjusted the rebound a bit. So now it's a tiny bit slower. And at times I do feel like a little bit of this, this sort of, um, you know, feeling when I was riding e-bikes with heavy motors. And this is essentially like a wheelie e-bike with a heavy motor. And uh, sometimes there's just no way around the inertia you have from a heavy motor like not as heavy as V13, but still heavy motor like you have on the S22. So if you're experiencing a bit of like bouncing around, a bit of like jitteriness when riding, then make sure to set the rebound to low. But now I think I'll just uh, stand here for a while. I'll change to the GoPro. I'll put on slow-mo and let's just make some beautiful music and look at the S22 Pro's suspension.
Alright guys, so I just uh, got rid of my sweater because we're getting close to my <laughs> off-road location. And yeah, it's a beautiful day right now in Warsaw, Poland. Just getting warmer. The last couple days were super cold, so I'm really rejoicing about the warmth. And here is my classic uh, off-road location where I test all my wheels. We were recently here with the V13 and uh, the V13 was kind of okay, but I was already hinting then that the uh, S22 will be where the fun is at here. Oh, a bit of people here because of the uh, holidays. By the way, this wheel, I think it gets the most looks of any wheel I ride. It's crazy. Maybe it's also because of the beautiful pads I have here. Maybe there's some... Uh, is that the trail already? Some other reason behind that. But uh, yeah, I think this wheel gets... No, it's the trail up. But yeah, uh, this wheel gets uh, so much attention. Anyways, now we'll actually take also a different trail that I usually don't ride because I don't think that the wheels are capable of going there. But I know that this one is, so let's get there. And quick disclaimer before we get here, and I think I should have put, put it really earlier up in the video. The wheels are not yet designed to do all of this stress. We are at the brink. We are at the start of these kind of devices. They are not as durable as motocross bikes. They're not as durable as mountain bikes, e-bikes. It's getting there, it's getting better. But the things that you see in this video would probably shorten the, the lifespan of your UC dramatically. So if you ride just usually casually, this will live a lot longer. Just, just so you know, right? All right, let's get into the trail. Hopefully I have enough speed for it all. Whoa, and that's where this, uh, oh man, it's just a bit of a gap. Let's try it again, need more speed. <laughs> the only thing that I'm scared of on the S22 when it comes to riding trails like these is clipping the pedal. Because as you've seen earlier, I just do this and I can clip the pedal. So let's try a bit more speed. Really, it's a, it's a bit of speed there that I need to have, but let's do it and send it. Woo, easy. Whoa, and here, oh, just ba barely. Whoop. This wheel, Whoop. I'm not afraid to send. There's a, there's a reason Shibby Time uses this wheel as his sender. Woo! <laughs> so much fun, all right. Now we need to get back. And there's actually a trail which leads there, but maybe, just maybe, I can use a different trail to get back up, which is not used as downhill. I'll use it as uphill. So let's try that. All right, I think here's one. All right, so we'll really see what the torque of this thing is about. This is scary steep. Like probably you don't see it with the camera angle, but let's go. Remember, this thing can climb 40 degree inclines. Okay. Like, if not for this, I'll be able to go up here. Let's try going here. And I really love that on the S22, we also have motor. Oh, <laughs> slippery. Try to go again. We have motor temperature sensors and even battery temperature, sen ten temperature sensors. So if you do a bit of too much of stuff, it won't allow you to ride. All right, let's go here. Come on, come on. Oh, it's really muddy. And as you can see, this is, this is what this off-road tire is about. It's like, it's not really off-road, it's dual sport. And people from that know motorsports keep saying that because you can see that the thread is right away. It's covered. And then the, the tire isn't so off-road anymore, is it? So yeah, those are dual sport tires, not off-road for nice trails and everything is sort of, you know, dampened and, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, hard and it's fine. But once you jump into sand and sort of conditions like these, 
those this pattern is just not enough <laughs> wow <laughs> this wheel with the amount of suspension travel here now with the torque with the sliders this wheel gives you superpowers it's crazy really we did so much stuff we did so much stuff that was thought that i would be just passing out and crashing burning but uh this wheel just does that and on top of, of burning uh, i will also make an update on that when it comes to uh, into the turnaround of this uh, wheel because this wheel has no shrink wrap around the battery which i think is a huge con all right all right we're getting to the trails i think right now i won't say so much so just enjoy the ride <laughs> Okay, this hill, I said no on the V13. Let's do it on the uh, S22. Oh, almost. <laughs> Let me just quickly measure that. How steep that is. It says 33. 33-ish degrees. Let me show you. 33-ish degrees. 39, like 35, 36 <laughs> degrees on like the surface that you see now. So really, like it could have more torque and would be awesome. Like it doesn't have as much torque as the master, but uh, this is already plenty for most stuff that we do. But you know, there's always room for improvement. Rather have more torque than a top speed of 70 here, which I maybe just did once. This is the hill where I fried the V11 and where the V13 couldn't go up. Let's just smash it. Okay, this guy just needs to go down. Just asked uh, if I can go up if like somebody's riding down because you never know. Oh my God, it just creams it. We still have a bit of sound, but man, man. <laughs> S22 Pro Power. There's one more hill there, which I didn't do uh, on the V13. So let's do this one real quick as well. See how far we can go. This wheel is just meant for off-roading, but it's pretty good in a city as well. Except for it being such a huge chunk and having crappy trolley handle. Right, let's go up there. Sandy. Oh my God, no. No chance, <laughs> just too, too loose. I think that'll be the general consensus here. So let's go there. There is where my other trails are at. The crazy thing about this suspension that works uh, progressively is that you always have so much contact with the soil. Oh, sorry, dude. Because uh, it filters out the small and the big bumps. And thanks to that, we have just so much fun off-roading, always having grip, always in contact with the soil. Whoa, small drift there. Was that a drift? I think it was. <laughs> and yeah, for these sort of conditions, I think there is no better wheel. So, okay, here's people, so we turn around. Whoa, so much easier to wheel this around than the V13. <laughs> I think the biggest difference is if you want a suspension wheel and uh, if you want to go off-road, then you want a suspension wheel because it just makes stuff so much easier. I'm going downhill. Boom, see that? I am actually spinning the wheel the other way around when going, going down. All right, jump. I go around here and after I'm whoa, <laughs> done with this trail, we'll actually take a look at the app real quick. See at the different temperatures that we have in this wheel. Oh, right away, range. Did anything change with the range? I think the range on the S22 Pro is just a bit smaller than on the S22 because I did uh, 71 kilometers GPS. Now this could be also because I was riding a bit quite quicker on this wheel than on the S22. 
but that's just a thing to note that I think that actually the range here is a bit smaller, which makes sense because the motor is more powerful. It's a 4,000 watt motor right now. Woo! I had no idea it beeps, by the way. Right, guys, let me check the temperatures real quick. So when it comes to temperatures, we have the mainboard temperature at 41, the motor temperature at 85. So it's a bit toasty, but still nothing crazy. But it's great that we have access to those numbers because uh, otherwise, just like I did on my Sherman Max, which I will do an update on uh, later on, maybe next week, uh, I actually melted a bit of the isolation in the motor. So yeah, temperatures are, are fine. Like those aren't like super steep hills, of course. And the real test would be to go up a mountain. So probably Marty can do something like that or Albert at EVs or, you know, some other people, but uh, I think it's fine. So look guys, let me just conclude it all. This is the wheel I have the most fun with. Like this does it all. Like I can do jumps, I can do stairs. I can also comfortably ride places. Although it's I think not as comfortable just because of the width of the wheel. It's just so wide and uh, Sometimes I just choose the Sherman Max instead, or even the V13, but the trolley is just so uncomfortable to use in everyday scenarios. Doing those jumps, doing tricks, doing off-road especially, there's no better wheel you can, you can take, um, except if you want to have just more range. So with that said, um, this is not my final review yet. Uh, we will do an update when we are, we'll be doing the teardown, how it looks from the inside, how much stuff is broken, if there's anything broken. And I'll share you, of course, my final thoughts in the final review of the S22 Pro. And so we'll have the S19. So with that said, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.